So we manufacture hydrogen, two ingredients, one is water and the other is clean electricity, preferably renewable, so therefore the two together produce hydrogen and oxygen. So we keep the hydrogen, put it in our machines. Hydrogen, absolutely safe. So hydrogen is, is legal, it's, um, the processes for manufacture are in place, the processes for the use of it on roads are in place, especially for trucks and cars. The, uh, the way in which we manage pressure vessels that carry hydrogen, the rules are incredibly tough, so therefore all of that comes together to make the use of hydrogen really safe. We need to get used to using hydrogen, and that's the next stage, how we employ it, how we all ensure that we are safe using it every day, but hydrogen is extremely safe. We put it really in, in large tube trailers. So what's a tube trailer? It's just a big cylinder with lots of hydrogen gas in. So we, we pump it in under pressure, maybe 500 bar pressure. We transport it like any other normal road, road tanker and, uh, and move it to site and then we literally discharge it from the tanks into the machines. On our machines, we store hydrogen in the form of a gas. So the gas is delivered to us and we put into the machines at a pressure of around 350 bar. Hydrogen itself compared to diesel has, has much more energy. The machine here that we've got is exactly the same. So what we've done is, is move away from today's fuel to a hydrogen fuel, but if you're an operator on this machine, you'll realise it's got exactly the same power, exactly the same torque, can deliver exactly the same productivity. So what we've done is to have exact same machine in hydrogen as the previous machine. My belief is over the next decade you'll really start to see the whole of the infrastructure take place. I think in the UK alone we've currently got 105 projects listed where people are starting to set up manufacturing sites, produce hydrogen. So we may not see too much in the short term, but in the long term the plans for hydrogen production are huge. So a hydrogen combustion machine is probably a 20% premium compared to an existing machine, whereas battery electric is 70% to 100%. Fuel cell could be two or three times the cost of the existing machine. Hydrogen itself as a fuel is currently a little expensive for one simple reason. The supply doesn't quite match the demand. So because we don't have enough hydrogen at the moment, prices are very high. As manufacturers start to produce hydrogen in more volume, produce it much more around the country so we don't have to transport it very far, then we say the hydrogen prices reduce. The manufacturing cost of hydrogen is relatively low. The biggest issue today is the transportation distance. As we have more electrolyzers in the country and hydrogen is transported less and could even be in pipelines, then the cost of hydrogen comes down and we need to get it down to about six pounds a kilo, which would be equivalent to, uh, to today's diesel cost. We were first to come out in the world with our hydrogen combustion solution. Lord Bamford you know, proudly shared that with many other manufacturers. We're probably lucky that we've been experimenting a little ahead of the curve, but we've been experimenting and therefore we've got our solutions out there. It's actually nice to see other companies now start to show that they're working on hydrogen combustion, because really we need the whole world to, to get onto hydrogen combustion. It's nice to be first, but we, um, we do need others to follow, and I think the confidence is now growing. People are starting to experiment, starting to get maybe to a prototype level. Real, real good signs of, of hydrogen combustion being really usable, not just in construction equipment, but potentially agricultural equipment, maybe some, some on-road trucks as well. But there's, there's a real trend now to think this could be a great, affordable solution. Hydrogen combustion, this is what the future looks like. <laughs>